Hi, second grade. Here's your literature story for the week. It's called Goodbye, Curtis. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video and go pick up your literature book because I think it'll be easier if you're looking at your literature book versus looking at the text in the video. So go ahead and pause the video and get your literature book. Okay, we are on page 178. And the title of your literature story this week is Goodbye Curtis. And it's by Kevin Henkes. And I bet you've probably heard of Kevin Henkes before. He is the author of the book Chrysanthemum, uh, Julius. He also wrote uh, Lily and the Purple Plastic Purse and a couple other books. So I'm sure you've probably read one of his books before. Let's just go ahead and take a peek at the picture. Remember something good readers do is they always make predictions before they begin reading. Just looking at this, what do you think this might be about? Make your prediction and then we're gonna read and see if your prediction is accurate. Remember, it's okay if it's not. We just activate our brain, get it ready, ready for learning. Curtis has been a letter carrier for 42 years. Today is his last day. Everyone loves Curtis. The old woman on the hill. The baby in 4C. The clerk at the butcher shop. And the crossing guard at the corner of First and Park. All of the mailboxes all over his route are filled with all kinds of surprises. There is a chocolate cupcake with sprinkles from Mrs. Martin. There is a drawing from Debbie, Dennis, and Donnie. There is a bottle of aftershave from the Johnsons and a box of nuts from their dog. There are cards and candy and cookies. There are hugs and handshakes and kisses. There is a small fat book from Mr. Porter and a pencil sharpener in the shape of a mailbox from Max. We'll miss you, Curtis, say the old woman on the hill and the baby in 4C and the clerk at the butcher shop and the crossing guard at the corner of First and Park. The children Curtis met when he first began his route have grown up. Some of them have children of their own. Some of them have grandchildren. Some of the children have had dogs. Some of the dogs have had puppies. Cats have had kittens too. Trees have grown from little to big. Houses have been torn down and houses have gone up. People have moved out, and people have moved in. But everyone loves Curtis. We'll miss you, they all say. The dogs and cats say so too. When Curtis gets to the last mailbox, at the last house, on the last street. What do you think is going to happen? Make a prediction. Okay. Surprise! Surprise! 
Surprise! Curtis's own family is waiting there. Friends pour out the door and down the steps. People from all over his route run out from the backyard. They have a party in Curtis's honor. We love you, Curtis, they all say. We'll miss you. There is dancing and eating and remembering. There are balloons and streamers and tiny tin horns. That night, Curtis dreams of his party. When he wakes up the next morning, he begins writing thank you notes to everyone. And he knows all the addresses by heart. What a cute story. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.